Hi there, it's Ariel the Artsy Intuitive doing another spread reading, another card message, uh, another intuitive message coming through. They just keep coming, and so I just let it, I uh, let it flow, okay? So, really beautiful energies here. Welcome to my channel. I'm Ariel the Artsy Intuitive, and yeah let's get into this this reading okay so the first card that came out was new chapter and believe okay new chapter and believe so this new chapter emerging like that white birthing itself with ride the wave Dolphins, I love dolphins. Dolphins are very, very uh, intelligent creatures, intuitive, psychic, that water riding the waves of the emotions. But there's this new chapter, this new energy coming in. New chapter and believe. Ride the wave. And then we have breakthrough, leap of faith freedom and new beginnings isn't that great oh my gosh and it goes to that pyramid that reminds me of the egyptian reading that i had and the pyramid for the divine feminine and the next card is utopia which is like this new earth energy and it is peace serenity and paradise underneath believe okay so I'm going to angle the camera down so that you can see the cards more clearly, okay? Let's get a better view. Here we go. Okay. So this this riding the wave. Okay. This riding the wave of this new chapter and this faith, this belief have faith, believe, and trust. Believe. Let's see, put right the wave in the middle. Whew, with utopia, so this breakthrough, this leap of faith is leading to this new chapter. I hope the lighting is okay. I'll do the best. Okay, so this breakthrough, this leap of faith, this freedom, new beginnings, new chapter, it's breaking through. It's, it's here. The energy of utopia, this 5D consciousness, the Merkaba, your light body, having faith, believe. And, okay, so... What else do we have here? Well, we also have Healing Begins. The glare. Is the glare from the candle? Okay. Well. Healing Begins. Lots of green, lots of heart chakra coming together and dreams coming true. I don't think you can see. Those are the cards that came through. Isn't that beautiful? This is the Nine of Cups. Wishes coming true. This is the Two of Cups, that soul bond, a soul connection. And healing begins. Healing begins. See that green? Connecting to the heart chakra is a new beginning. This is a new chapter. I have this rock also that I found at the beach. And it looked like, it looks like an arrow, right? So I thought it was really cool. I use it for my cards. And one of the cards below this coming together, dreams coming true, is flow. Flowing with this energy of healing and dreams coming true. And this is the Wheel of Fortune. And I love how, like, see the arrow, see the arrows of the triangles? What direction are you going? You're flowing. You're going with the flow. So manifest. To manifest this coming together, this dream's coming true, this new chapter, 
Uh, heaven on Earth, uh, 5D Earth, building this. Put that arrow right here. <clears throat> so this is that wheel. I believe that's the Wheel of Fortune. Manifest the flow. Manifest. Flow into the manifestation. Because it's grounding. I picked a, uh, a card for our Mother Gaia deck. Earth deck. And we have the tree. Grounding. This is grounding in the physical. Next to the flow, we got the sanctuary. Healing and comfort. Another healing. Faith. Restoration. Comfort. Look how beautiful that is. This new chapter. This breakthrough. Breaking through the old chapter. The old cycle. We've learned our lessons. Let's continue on. Let's shed what's no longer necessary. And it's big, especially with twin flames and divine counterparts who are who are bringing, bringing in that frequency of divine unconditional love and, and are working through it and doing the stuff necessary, guided by your own individual guides and angels and whatever is, you know, for you being guided into the sanctuary, this healing, breakthrough, leap of faith, freedom, new beginnings, believe, faith, gotta have that faith okay so what else that we have is beautiful look who he look we have i pulled two ascended master cards omg <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say if you know me i'm more personal okay anyways this is the divine director this is intervention and purpose and this is the buddha Increased awareness. It's because my divine mask <laughs> and has a connection with Master Buddha, Archangel Michael, and this is his card. So I just thought it was funny that it jumped out like this. Increased awareness. Divine intervention is occurring. That's right. Helping this turn this wheel. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Increased awareness. Master Buddha. Deep connection. Trust your inner voice. Which I feel is divine masculine is really being encouraged by his higher self to follow their intuition, to go into this state of meditation, contemplation, introspective energy combined with this energy combined with this the sun and masters is so beautiful because it's so like divine feminine we have love and light and awaken right that look at that third eye just psh, that's how it was for me i felt like it, it built it built and then one one day I felt like it just like really expanded my and I was having visions all the time but is this divine feminine energy of helping the process of awakening this love and light being this love and light that purple vi that violet energy also that violet act with care awaken number one this is the first card so Beautiful energy of going through the motions of the light worker journey, the twin flame journey, how it's, it's, there's a new cycle. I know we've talked about new cycles, but it's here. The energy is here. And this down here is really gorgeous. Okay. So, oh my gosh, I just can't, it's so powerful. So this is grounding in the physical, this connection, this soul truth. And we're riding the waves, right? Because we've got to go with the flow and trust, have faith, have this belief that you are this light. Just 
just <laughs> that was really not really a great uh, <laughs> sound effect <laughs> but you get what I mean it's just exploding like light exploding it's this new chapter believe in this new chapter there's a breakthrough there's a leap of faith um, we have look at this protecting treasure protecting treasure commitment the spirit of the place spirit of place and home are you kidding me <laughs> spirit totally uh divine counterpart twin flame twin soul uh, merging alchemy like ever because you have a home card with with um place of spirit which this is about being your authentic self and it's also like this every it's like everything in this consciousness like the tr the grass the the trees the nature like everything is in its place and it's doing its part and it's beautiful and it's this call home but it the thing is look at this commitment it's a pretty beautiful card this commitment this commitment to self also the commitment to the journey is protected this this connection is protected and look at the girl she's laying on top of the treasure I mean wow with the home card that's a nine so it's almost taking a, a, com a completion energy it's awaiting you are home to each other. You share the same soul, over soul. It's so beautiful. I just love it. <laughs> okay, so, and guess what cards came over this? Ascended Masters. Goddess. <laughs> oh my gosh, these cards are gorgeous. And heart chakra. I've been talking about the heart chakra, higher heart chakra being, oh my gosh, I don't know what word to use, but ab blown open, I guess? I don't know. Heart chakra between the divine counterparts, the masculine and the feminine, is, is amping up. The pull is just so strong. I don't know. Something. The answer that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. Mm -hmm. Goddess, express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. And ascended masters, powerful, loving, wise, spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you. And this was the energies that I asked to clarify more of this Protecting this treasure of home, protecting this higher, this is higher template of love that we are, we are in the workings because it take it is it takes a process, but that we know the truth of that we're bringing down into this physical form. That's why we have the tree right here. Okay. It's grounding itself and ascended masters. Oh, this is beautiful too. Look at that. Like this tower, not tower, but like this, this, this home, this utopia, this, this, uh, sanctuary, castle, crystalline, <sighs> heaven. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? just gorgeous? With the heart chakra, with the goddess, divine feminine, assisting this breakthrough, assisting by being her goddess self protecting her her home within herself like within that home and you are home the masculine and the feminine bridge together and it's that home space like for twin flames you are each other's home the heart it's the heart the heart the heart i've been getting the message of the heart is the answer <laughs> the heart is the answer love is the answer okay and that's why it's protected the ascended masters are saying this is protected this is a treasure and we best believe best believe with the belief card right here that um 
this is protected. This connection is protected. See how she's, yeah, she's underneath the umbrella. It's raining. She's laying on top of, I don't know what's in the background, but she's laying on top of this treasure box and it has a crown on top. I didn't see that. It has a crown on top. You know, somebody come, it's somebody come and pick up their crown. Take, you know, it's that divine, um, that divine royalty, which is of the highest, the higher realm of love and joy and peace. Oh, I don't know what else to say with that. It's protected. Ascended masters, you know, with the, this right here. With the heart chakra, all of that angelic energy around this connection. Oh yeah, that's what it's about right there. <laughs> connecting to the higher, connecting to your higher self, knowing that it's a it's meant to be authentic and to stir things up, to have this breakthrough, this new chapter, this cycle cycling through. You know, we on the twin flame journey, it that is part of it is really <sighs> sifting through, purging, integrating, purging, releasing, um, and the ascension journey. It's, I'm not narrowing it down to just twin flames, but from my experience, it's about like the layers, all the gunk, and all the layers of stuff from being, you know what I mean. Okay, so what's beautiful here is we have number 10 card again, we have number 10 of unfinished symphony, right? So there's this energy of this unfinished symphony with the twin flames, like uh, that this hasn't been completed, it's not quite finished yet, although I don't know if I really get too much of the energy of things being like finished because we're always growing and we're multi-dimensional so but it's an unfinished symphony there's something that needs to be communicated you'll see with the next cards okay and then we have all that glitters and this is about the mass this is about all that glitters is not gold the 3d okay look what's next clean it up clean it up that's like clean cleaning up the ego okay by the book you know, like creating new ways, new ideas. By the book is good. Yeah, you know, like doing things a certain way. It is an 11 card, too, which makes me think of the Twin Flame Journey, the 11 11. And but let me show you these. Okay, so, but this. This unfinished symphony, like we've been in this energy of, as the divine counterparts, twin flames, mainly masculine energy, I'm just going to say that's what I feel and what I get, is this cleaning up, cleaning up the ego, taking off the masks, know that glitters, is all that glitters is not gold, uh, you know what I mean, like the facade, the masks, the three, like the 3D you can keep chasing that and chasing that and chasing that and that's like what is that going to is that can fulfill your soul is that going to fulfill that higher self that wants to come through see the higher self in the back like wants to come through take off the masks clean it up and it's not like divine feminines I'm not have not worn masks or whatever I'm talking about now right now in where I see a lot of, of the journey is and a lot of like where the this particular wave or group or collective of masculines that I pick up on and channel has to do with this right here the 3d this unfinished business this is also karmic cycles like being brave enough being brave to go back to certain cycles to clean it up okay this by the book, get things in order. This is also a positive card. 
I, I got a couple messages from this, you know. Because when you do something the same all the time, that is what makes it a karmic cycle, especially if it's like toxic, okay, and it doesn't serve a highest purpose. And so we learn that as a soul that it taught us something and we can move on, you know, with the help of God, God spirit, source, okay, they're working with us. So, but I just really got this message of this, there was unfinished karmic cycles that especially for twin flames like it's part of the contract to clear it's part of part of what you signed up for to clear and to to clean this up to reorganize restructure let's get things in line um that's why i feel like this is definitely masculine energy especially with the stag here and all these elephants is very like structured so getting things structured. So there's many messages I'm getting now as I'm looking at it. But it's and then there's also this unfinished symphony with the the divine counterpart of well, what's next? Like feeling the calling, that heart shark 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 chakra. Sh uh, we did get the shark last a couple readings ago. Chakra. Um so the next card was beautiful that I picked because it's the yin and I put it over like this because i feel like what is assisting this energy right here and calling is being called in as the goddess energy is what's helping like helping with this energy right here is the goddess this is the yin this is the feminine energy a bowl receptive loving nurturing um yeah look at it it's gorgeous okay so i feel like that in itself was beautiful it's like a blanket when I put that over I'm like it's a blanket of <laughs> goddess feminine energy assisting this energy I'm just gonna say energy because there is this unfinished symphony and it's this egg we've been getting readings with lots of eggs lately so it's like the eggs are about to hatch eggs are representative of the creation and you know, Estra, Easter, eggs, things being renewed, birthed, this new chapter, okay? Cycles needing to close out, unfinished business cycles needed to be wrapped up so you can start a new cycle. So that's all being assisted by the goddess mother energy. And what's beautiful is the next card, we get the golden egg, which is the heart chakra card. And we have two heart chakra cards. Not to mention the two of cups and the nine of cups and just lots of faith, trust, belief, sanctuary, uh, divine feminine energy. There's a balance with the grounding, with this masculine, the masculine really trying to flow right here. This divine director working with increased awareness i love this the divine director and in intervention with this um unfinished business closing karmic cycles closing closing things opening a new path wanting to even if they're not there the desire is there and it's this flow with the help of this, the Buddha energy, this increased awareness from going within, because we did have the Hermit card come out three times for Divine Masculine, like a couple readings ago. And we have this flow. See how he's in the water. His hand is on his heart. He's feeling the flow and the temperature of the water. He's connecting to his emotional body. He's connecting to the water. He's connecting to his higher self, his inner self, knowing that things flow, things shift. The one constant thing is change. I mean, thank goodness, right? I mean, thank goodness the universe, like, we, we're constantly growing and changing. Otherwise, we'd all be stuck in the same, like, toxic things, you know? So that's why we have this increased awareness. With the healing card, we have a couple healing cards. The sanctuary and this new chapter healing, restoration, sanctuary, comfort, faith, 
faith that there is going to be a new chapter and yet riding the waves as they come along rolling with it okay knowing that dreams are coming true healing and oh yeah not to mention we have the healing card healing begins healing and comfort flow I'm just gonna put it like that yeah that's good okay and it's grounding that tree with that golden egg, that love and light, awaken, divine feminine. Who really holding space, really holding it down, really going through, doing what she has to do to purge, to go through the shadow work. I've been doing lots of shadow work. I'm like laughing, I'm like, okay, spirit, like, uh, triggers, triggers, let's just bring them on, bring them on. Like, and I've um, been connecting myself. I've had Kali up because I've been connecting with the Kali energy. Uh, and facing fears. And integrating the, that dark and the light together. So this golden egg. I would like to briefly read that energy. Oh, well, cheese. Cheese chase okay there we go golden egg which i know is the heart chakra heart yeah the message at the center of the heart the unstruck sound within the golden egg lives a precious sound deep within that sound resides a message the sound cannot be heard nor the message discerned until we retreat from the noise of modern day life the magical essence of the golden egg needs warmth, quiet, and time to unfold. No rushing, no pushing, or grasping. It's a key element of this journey. Oh my gosh. Right? Just allowing it to unfold. Sounds, sounds easy, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's a process, okay? Allowing it. No pushing, no rushing, no grasping, no chasing. Okay? Um, it needs warmth, quiet, and time to unfold. Uh, find a place of deep and restful ease, perhaps through yoga, meditation. Um, so it's talking about having a practice because for introspection, contemplation, mindfulness. This is the great Buddha. Master Buddha has taught... That golden, beautiful, luscious light. I love it. <laughs> so staying open. Okay. And also it says, when the mind begins to settle and the breath is calm, ask the question that weighs heaviest on your heart. And I, for my personal uh, suggestion, I, I also recommend putting your hand on your heart regularly and connecting to that space. Because that's like the the driver. Like your heart is like the spaceship. In, <laughs> that's not the, I don't know what to call it, but the heart is like the seat of the soul. The heart. So staying open to any response you hear. So asking a question that weighs heaviest on your heart. Staying open to any response and listen. <clears throat> engaging with the energy of the golden egg is an advanced practice it requires becoming intimate with our very essence and, uh, and comfortable with vulnerability when a feeling of tenderness or gratitude arises from deep within you know that you are well on your way your chest may swell like you are seeing an old friend that's been away for a long long time and I know that's yeah. Oh, felt that. Felt that. Okay. Listen to the message that they've been waiting to tell you, your guides. So, the anahata, the unstruck sound, the anahata, heart chakra. So, uh, and then this love and light awakened. So beautiful. Okay. So, how about I end the reading? This is beautiful, so let's end, let's close 
this reading up with a card, but which deck? And then listening. Okay. These are two decks combined because they well work well together. So spirit. <sighs> Mother, father, spirit, source. Any guidance? For my watchers and my viewers and myself as well. Celebration! Yeah! Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> celebration! Allow the celebration to unfold. Yes, the golden crown. Okay. We have celebration, integrity, and golden crown. That's right. That golden crown, that Master Buddha. Lots of um, goldish, golden colors that are coming in, especially with uh, with Master Buddha and the golden crown. Hold on. I didn't really ask. Or a question or a card. Let's see, what does this say? Find balance. Yep. Another message. Finding balance. Embrace. This is embracing this. I think this is the world the world card or judgment. I, I don't remember. This is the death card. This is release. Okay, as we release. And we accept our calling. We accept our mission and this ascension and helping Gaia ascend. And the biggest, you know, when we look at the big picture here, look at it's removing all of this gunk and emerging into the truth of, the, of who we are. We're removing all the programming and all that stuff and finding this balance. Circles. I've been getting lots of circles and eggs because I did another, I do other readings that I don't always post because of, you know, I follow my intuition, so um, sometimes they're just, they're spread all over, and it's just kind of a, this whole mess of cards. <laughs> but that's how it works, that's how it works for me. So it's really this ultimate awakening, this release, this, this golden crown, chakra, just, <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do sound, sound, effects because that was horrible <laughs> exploding that golden crown and and with that one and then with this master buddha with awakened look at all that golden third eye higher chakras connection to the divine and knowing our truth and stepping into our truth and um oh i know what else celebration integrity what was the other card okay so let me finish what I was doing. Okay. So we have the celebration and it looks like the seed, it's growing. So it with this tree here, there's there is a seed planted that you have planted. It is pros prospering. It is growing. This is the energy of a six, which is unconditional love, and it is harmony. The harmony of the two merging, of alchemy, feminine masculine merging flowing going with the flow coming from the heart ascended masters guides working with us on our awakening with love and light and it is a process there's waves coming in there's waves there's a there's that new moon energy of with drawing the new moon it it um sometimes it's that going within and yet setting new intentions like going within letting go of what no longer serves finding deeper things within you that need to be looked at and this integrity coming from integrity what what is on his the, his chest like his heart space this circular energy and it looks like wings like he's like moth half moth or integrity yes i i do want to read that card i'm curious because i haven't really used this deck that much so 
I am a, I'm going to read the affirmation. I am a warrior of love. With integrity, I walk this path of courage and truth. And this is the solar plexus, heart, and throat chakra. To work with integrity and truth is to walk empowered in spirit. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Wow. This is also talking about breaking through habits and thought patterns that don't serve your authentic self. This talks about moving past like the ego uh, habits and thoughts that are just um, the judgments and attacks. Uh, it says, be, be gentle with that shaded area, dear one. The shadow, Sylvia, be gentle. Instead of criticizing and judging that shade within you. Where did it go? I lost my... Uh, da, 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 da. The third... Okay. Be gentle with that shaded area, dear one. And understand that there is a reason why it is dark. With love... Shine light to this part in you and truly see what fears lurk at its cores. Okay, this is what I, I, but instead of criticizing and judging that shade within you, send that part of you, send that part of you love, light, and compassion. It's remembering your true divine self. Continue your journey with strength, integrity, truth strength integrity and truth the more you choose to walk in your truth and integrity the brighter your light shines and the more empowered your spirit becomes this is a fact fact speaking truth right there talking about integrity truth that is truth that is so true the more your spirit your soul becomes empowered when um you know that ego gets less grip you you face these aspects of the self you, you send it love it doesn't need more less love it needs more a Matt Kahn said him paraphrasing he said something you don't need more I mean you don't need less love you need more love that's what it means like not less love you need more love so you're responsible for loving the inner child within you loving the inner father within you loving the inner mother the inner like whatever those aspects within you where you shine this awareness of this heart chakra this is the seat of your soul this is that power center really your heart so that's really gorgeous and you guys give me a second i did make a new deck um it's not like a huge one but i wrote down some words hold on one second Okay, so beautiful reading, right, right, okay, so they're not, there's not a large amount, but what's cool about these is I did them really late last night, kind of in the dark, it's kind of how I work when I channel when it's dark at night and I'm yeah i like the um the i love the sun but i also love the darkness when it's dark at night and mysterious and the moon is the moon is out or the stars are out so i get a lot of downloads in um channeling during that time and each each card has it's just one word for example faith peace um and i started just allowing it to flow i've been wanting to do this where i wanted to channel like a light like written light language um and i had to let myself get out of the way right so i did and i, I let it come through and i felt connected i kept getting on andromedan 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 and and then arcturian so it was like andromedan arcturian mixture maybe i don't know but both of those uh, mainly Andromedan is what came to me. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'm not questioning my intuition. This is what it is. Because that's how it works. Okay, so. We're just going to lay them right here. Because spirits saying that.
we'll pick two. How about that? <clears throat> okay. So what do we get? Love. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I had to put B because that is as a being, a spiritual being in the human body vessel. I think a lot of us forgot about like just being. We got the action of doing, being, and act being, but you're a being, just be. And look, we have love. You're a love bee. I'm just kidding. Be love. <laughs> so you see how each one has, and especially it was kind of in the dark that I wrote these. I couldn't see like clearly. I just let um, part of that automatic writing and channeling is letting um, it come through and trusting and surrendering. And that's really cool. Be love. Okay, you guys, be love. If, if anything, be love and, and know that you are love. Ride the wave of ascension as best and as awesome as you can. And listen to your intuition and practice your intuition and build. And um, it's, like, it's like a muscle. You're, you're working it out. So practice makes perfect. Um, be love. What a beautiful energy. Okay. All right, 41 minutes. How do I seriously talk for that long? I don't know, but thank you guys. And I look forward to doing more, um, just new things. I'm being called to do different things. We'll see what spirit is leading me to do. Um, more, I want more, I'm having visions of other things to do in my channel using um, frequencies, sounds, um, yeah, channeled, uh, light language, mudras, um, hand activations is what I'm just going to call them activations. Okay. Because we are all each a unique individual part of, of that wholeness of fragmented off of source that we have all such a unique vibe, 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 vibration okay all right thank you for subscribing if you haven't subscribed su subscribe please if you feel called to and like share and comment below okay bye